Hi, I'm Adam. Your home is your biggest investment, so keeping it protected and looking great is important. Painting your home may seem like a really big project, but it just involves some basic preparation, like any painting job, and the right tool to get the job done fast. Whether your home is covered in wood siding, stucco, or even brick, old peeling and fading paint is more than just ugly. Left alone, it'll get worse and could lead to rotting and cracking. The best tool to make the project go faster with less work is a paint sprayer. We'll be using a Wagner High Efficiency Airless Sprayer designed to give you professional results and speed with less overspray. It's also very easy to use, and when you're finished, your house will look brand new. Thorough prep is key to a long-lasting paint job. We came out a couple of days ago to power wash the entire house, blasting away all the dirt and most of the loose paint. Power washing also makes the new paint stick better. We then scraped off any loose paint left behind using a combination of hand scrapers and Wagner's Paint Eater Disc Sander tool, which does a great job of removing loose paint and smoothing the surface. We also spot primed all bare wood and caulked all the gaps. And we covered all the light fixtures with plastic to protect them from overspray. Removing gutters can be a tough job to do by yourself. So we opted to leave them on and paint over them since they'll be the same color as the trim. But we did take off the downspouts to make painting the rest of the house a little easier. With all the prep done, we're ready to start painting. And we'll be spraying the house with the Wagner Control Pro 150. It's a high efficiency airless sprayer giving you professional speed and up to 55% less overspray than traditional airless sprayers. It comes with a 25 foot hose giving you plenty of reach even up a ladder. It also saves you a few trips up and down the ladder because it'll draw paint directly from a five gallon bucket on the ground. And the lightweight spray gun is really easy to control, letting you spray your whole house without wearing out your arms. Plus, you'll get the job done much faster and more easily than you would with a brush or roller, leaving you with a great looking finish. Here's a list of what you'll need. A combination paint and primer product, enough for two coats, a paintbrush to smooth out any drips, canvas and plastic drop cloths to protect the ground and any nearby trees or shrubs, plastic sheeting and masking tape to protect areas you don't want paint on like masonry, window glass, and roofing shingles, some ladders, and we always recommend you wear a dust mask and safety glasses anytime you're spraying paint. We also recommend not spraying when it's windy outside. Not only will it affect your spray pattern, but you might get paint on something you don't want to. With that, we're ready to paint the house. It's a good idea to practice spraying on a big piece of cardboard before painting the house and adjust your pressure as you find a spraying speed you're comfortable with. How high or low depends on how fast you'll be moving the spray gun. Keep the spray gun about 12 inches away and parallel with the surface, whether you're spraying from side to side or up and down. Start moving your hand before pulling the trigger to avoid any heavy spots and release the trigger after you finish each pass. So let's get started. We'll paint the trim first and let it dry thoroughly, then we'll mask it off with painter's tape and plastic sheeting, and then spray the siding. Make sure you're spraying in the direction of the wood grain. For trim, that can mean up and down for some boards and side to side for others. Also, make sure you adjust the tip correctly for the direction you'll be spraying in. And if you get a little paint on the siding, don't worry about it because you're gonna cover it up later. We're also painting the garage doors the same color as the trim. With the trim all painted and masked off, it's time to spray the siding. We were careful to make sure the trim was really dry before covering it so the tape won't pull any paint off when we remove it later. Our house has horizontal wood siding, so we'll be spraying side to side with the direction of the grain. Start at the top of the house and work your way down. If you'll be working from a ladder, spray in sections as wide as you can safely reach, but don't let a section dry before painting the next or you might see some heavy spots. Point the spray gun up at an angle toward the bottom of each row for best coverage and color. If you have any drips while spraying, just level them out with a paintbrush and then continue spraying. Well, we finished painting the house. Pretty amazing transformation, don't you think? After a thorough prep job and a couple of days of painting, We've dramatically changed the look of this house with an updated color and applied a protective layer against the elements that will last for many years. The homeowners here also got it done fast and saved thousands of dollars by doing it themselves 
with a Wagner High Efficiency Airless Sprayer. We hope you enjoyed this video and that it inspires you to paint your own house. For more how-to videos plus information about Wagner's complete line of sprayers and other painting products, visit wagnerspraytech.com. Thanks for watching.